Let's learn from the wisdom of Proverbs 19. Better a man whose walk is blameless than a fool whose lips are perverse. It is not good to have zeal without knowledge, nor to be hasty and miss the way. A man's own folly ruins his life, yet his heart rages against the Lord. Wealth brings many friends, but a poor man's friends desert him. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who pours out lies will not go free. Many curry favor with a ruler, and everyone is the friend of a man who gives gifts, of course. A poor man is shunned by all his relatives. How much more do his friends avoid him? Though he pursues them with pleading, they are nowhere to be found. He who gets wisdom loves his own soul. He who cherishes understanding prospers. A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who pours out lies will perish. Verse 9, a false witness will not go unpunished, and he who pours out lies will perish. It is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury. How much worse for a slave to rule over princes. Verse 11, a man's wisdom gives him patience. It is to his glory to overlook an offense. Yes, we should always be overlooking offenses. That is a good little nugget right there. A king's rage is like the roar of a lion, but his favor like the dew on the grass. Verse 13, a foolish son is his father's ruin, and a quarrelsome wife is like a constant dripping. Ladies, let's not be a constant dripping, okay? Houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. We are good gifts to our husbands, aren't we? Laziness brings on deep sleep, and the shiftless man goes hungry. He who obeys instructions guards his life, but he who is contemptuous of his ways will die. Verse 17, he who is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward him for what he has done. Discipline your son, for in that there is hope. Do not be a willing party to his death. A hot-tempered man must pay the penalty. If you rescue him, you will have to do it again. Verse 20, I like this. Listen to advice and accept instruction, and in the end, you will be wise. I'm going to read that one again. Verse 20, listen to advice and accept instruction, and in the end, you will be wise. I also like verse 21, many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. What a man desires is unfailing love, better to be poor than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, the one who rests content, untouched by trouble. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish, but he will not even bring it back to his mouth. Flog a mocker, and the simple will learn prudence. Rebuke a discerning man, and he will gain knowledge. He who robs his father and drives out his mother is a son who brings shame and disgrace. Verse 27, stop listening to instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A corrupt witness mocks at justice, and the mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Penalties are prepared for mockers, and beatings for the backs of fools. These have been wise words from Proverbs 19. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you have a blessed day living for Him.